All right, Detail It, welcome back. Okay, so today is the, let's see, 28th, I believe? I hope, hope I'm right on that. I don't have a calendar out here. That calendar is old. Anyway, I believe it's the 28th. Um, you know what, it's the 29th. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's Sunday, November 29th, I believe. There you go. Anyway. I wanted to do this torture test, but before I do it, I have to tell you guys and be honest, guys and gals, women, men, women, children, anybody that watches this channel, um, I made a mistake and it's my fault, so I misled you guys. Uh, I put the Adams Graphene spray coating on the hood of my wife's car last week. I'm gonna torture it today and see what happens with it, but I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to see how durable the Adams is because, duh, me, I remembered as I was thinking about it last week when I was done with that spray coating that I had the Luxury Microfiber Shield Pro as the base layer. So, are we really going to know how durable this spray coating is as a topper? No, I don't know. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna wash the hood and rinse it, blow dry it. Then I'm gonna beat it up with these chemicals right here. And I'm gonna beat it up with these chemicals, but only half the hood. That way we can see if there's any difference in the water behavior. So I figure I'll start with the Bugs Be Gone, because that's like an APC. Then the coverall, Dark Fury, it's a bug and wheel. And if it's hanging in there and there's no difference, I'm gonna hit it with the Adams, uh, wheel and tire cleaner, and that's mixed 50-50. That one's gonna be strong. So I just hope it doesn't streak the hood. <laughs> then I'll have to be polishing it again. Um, I do expect it to be durable, but again, I don't expect it to be just because of the Adams spray graphene. Uh, that Shield Pro by Luxury Microfiber is actually very durable. It's a good coating, irrelevant. Let's get to it. I'm gonna show you the water behavior right now, or at least the beads. Then after I wash the hood, I'll show you the water behavior when I blow dry it. But let's look at the beads right now. Here's the beads, just rinsing the hood. First rinse after applying the Atom Spray Graphene last week. Here it is. So I don't know if you guys can see those beads real well or not. Hopefully I don't fumble you guys and drop you, but. Let's see, I mean, bird's eye view. I hope you can see those. Let's go over here. Maybe this side will be better. See them? Tons of beads, it is great beading. Anyway, let's get to this. I don't wanna make it too lengthy of a video. So I'm gonna just wash it. Um, right now I have, what soap did I use? Shine Supply Hot Shot, which is a pH neutral soap. So it's just a basic soap. Let's wash this. Shedding the water. Hoping you can see that it's trying to shed the water. Definitely shedding water. I remember the first time we did Adam's spray coating though. It had great water behavior. I do remember that. Alright. Here comes the rinse. Man, it's shedding water big time. It's pretty impressive. Let's just rinse. And then we'll blow dry and wash it. See what happens. Alright, so let's blow dry it real quick and see what it looks like. Okay, I'll bring you guys in a little bit closer. See the water behavior when blow drying. Here we go. Great water behavior. Okay, so 
You may not have been able to see that. My angles may have been bad, I apologize. But the water blew right off of that, just like the first time. I think the glare of the sun's getting you guys. Let's do this side. Maybe this side's better. But I don't want to knock you over with the garden hose. Hopefully this side's better. You get a little bit of shadowing. Hopefully you can see, maybe you need to be closer. Don't really know what we need to do here. Let's do this. Okay, so I'm gonna do APC. I'm gonna start with Bug Be Gone. And we're gonna do the passenger side of the hood only. That way we can see if there's any difference in the, any water behavior, shedding of water or soap on the coating because we have an actual two-year coating pop with Adams, right? Let that sit about a minute and then I'll work it in. Get my uh, little microfiber wash pad wet. I'll work that in, then we'll rinse it and see what it did, if anything. All right, that hasn't been a minute, but let's massage this in and see if it does anything to it. Right down the middle. Yeah. We're hoping to see something different, right? See if we can tell if the um, Adam spray coating's durable, right? Well, let's rinse it and see if anything looks different on the passenger side. Right now, first thought, nothing different to speak of. Looks about the same on both sides. I would say those trails um, are different, but they're not. There are some on this side as well. Let's rinse it with soap, or wash it with soap. Then we'll go to Dark Fury, see if that does anything. I think this is going to turn out to be pretty durable this week. This time. Let me rinse and blow dry. Let's see here. Okay. You guys have good view of beads. Let's go look at it. Are they different? Actually, if anything, which is weird. The beads are tighter over here now. That's awkward. But hey, let's blow dry it and see what the water does. See if we have any drag or anything. And then we'll go to a, a heavier chemical. There we go. Hopefully you guys can see this. Okay, so, so as weird as that was, in my opinion, I'm not saying it degraded it, but the water drug a little more. There was a little more tension on that side. Maybe it's just me. I might be imagining it, but it appeared the driver's side, the water was flying off it. Passenger side, it kind of drugged. So is that residue from soap, cleaner? I don't know. You guys can opinionate comments down below. Let's move on to something heavier and see what happens with this. I'm gonna do it two more times and see what happens. This one's gonna be a little bit heavier, cleaner, Dark Fury. Superior products. It's a Goodwill entire cleaner, let's do it. Don't be alarmed by this dark fury if you ever use it it's it looks like you're spraying dirt onto your car it's it's brown look 
papaya. See it? Looks like root beer almost. But don't drink it. Detail it. Doug, I am saying do not drink this. Even though it does look like a frothy root beer. Do not. Do not. <laughs> All right. It's not been a minute, but can't make this an hour-long video either. Let's wipe this in and see what happens. Okay. Rinse it. Boy, that stuff stains a little bit. The mitt looks dirty, but let's rinse it, see? Then I'll wash it again and see? Once we blow it. Okay. Okay, guys. To me, the beads look a little different. I hate to say that, but they do. Let me wash it with the soap. Let's see. I'll bring you guys in so you trust me. The beads look a little fatter over here now. They're still pretty tight, but there's some big globs. Don't know if that's just from flooding the panel. The beads are more consistent over here. That's weird. They're medium to big here, but consistent. This is medium, large, and small. That's weird. It's a different behavior. Let's wash it with soap. See what happens. There comes the rain again, right? You're in it. Here comes the rain again. Don't you guys know that song? Come on. Never mind that I'm a terrible singer. Guys, I hate to tell you this. The water behavior looks different. I'm just saying, it just looks different. It's not terrible. But means that's a topper. I don't know if the Adams is getting beat up and what we're seeing is the remnants of the luxury microfiber or not. Here we go. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. It's not coming off. What is that? It's not moving at all. Are you seeing that? Are you seeing that, guys? Something very strange here. There's no uh, residue here at all. Nothing. Nothing. Look over here. I can blow dry this section and it won't move the water. Huh. All right, everybody. I was gonna beat that up with tire and wheel cleaner. I don't think we have to. I think that says it all. The Dark Fury ended it. Now, is that Dark Fury harsher than Adam's Will and Tire 50-50? I don't know, but I'm not gonna keep beating that up. I think we've seen enough. I think the Adam's coating, I think the spray graphene on the passenger side is still there, but I think it's degraded enough that it's not effective. I mean, let's go look at it again, guys. Look. You guys saw me. I was blow drying this. Sorry about the tripod. Need an assistant, dagnabbit. Anyway, here we go. Can you guys see this? Look. Can you see this? All this water in here didn't blow off. It won't blow off. You tell me. I don't know guys. To me, this coating is dead. Uh, maybe not all the way, but it's definitely degraded enough it's not working. One thing I like about the Atoms, that spray graphene, when you blow dry it, man, water flies off the panel. It flies off the panel. That right there, you watched it as I was getting it. Although it be a little blower, 
that's irrelevant because the driver's side that had no chemical put on it, the water's coming off quick. Right now, bam, it's moving. It's degrading that. So here we go again. Second time that Adams, I believe, has failed, my opinion. So um, here's what I'm gonna do. Wow, I'm, I'm surprised at that, bad, really surprised at that. Actually blown away, I'm shocked. Um, so there's gonna be some new products coming out. I think Turtle Wax is releasing some new stuff. I'm gonna do the roof and the trunk and the new Turtle Wax and the 303 possibly on the sides maybe if I can get a hold of some of this stuff and we'll do a, a test and see how these retail lines are really putting it to some of these prosumer lines. Now, again, I love Adam's products and I'm not calling him out. Nobody washes their car, first of all. Nobody washes their car in degreaser, right? Nobody. This is just a test everybody's been hung up on. Let's beat it up and see if it's durable. Um, actually, it's kind of nonsensical because I still do believe the Adams graphene spray coating has great water behavior, uh, even better than the other coatings that I have used in the past. Honestly, it's just not durable. So take it for what you will. I did not expect to see that. I am actually blown away. And by the way, this is Sunday. I applied that last Saturday. It's been eight days. So not just 24, not just 72. So all you guys and gals that were commenting, this is eight days of cure time. And I believe it failed. Let me know what you think, guys. Subscribe. Pass the video on. Follow me on um, Instagram to detail it. To detail it. I'm new on Instagram, so I don't really know what I'm doing. But uh, get notifications. Watch all my videos. And thanks for the support.